Hello and welcome to episode 34 and as you can see we drew against Sampdoria. This game was just awful. 1-1 one, one draw, we had we had a billion chances as normal. We missed all of them, scored one. Um, uh, and then Sampdoria scored and we get punished. Once again, it's just one of those it was one of those games where nothing was going in for us. You had the chances, but nothing went in. Also, in this game, Sadov got injured, broke his wrist. And their fluky, shitty goal, Macrone scoring. And I swear to it, from a corner, and they had about... seven. I think they had 17 corners, and I went into TV mode. Uh, let's have a look. Stats, man of the match went to their goalkeeper, because he kept saving every single shot that we had. Yeah, 17 corners. We had six clear-cut chances, and they only had one. Awful game, but anyway, let's move on. Uh, we're still nine points adrift of Inter, but now this is the game you want to see. The quarterfinals of the Champions League. First leg against Arsenal at the San Siro. I'm going to pick the team and I'll come back to you. Hello and welcome back. And um, This is the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Now I'm going with probably the strongest backline. Um, Phil Jones is injured, he's got fractured ribs. Uh, Salvatore Sinigu is illegible. Gattuso has been very, very strong in that position uh, again in the games against Barcelona. Pastore, by far our, be our best player this season, outstanding performer. Him and Ibrahimovic, he's probably been more consistent. Uh, Pato on the right did fantastic against Barcelona in the Champions League. Sanchez has been suspended, back in action on the left wing. Uh, Lukaku suffering a goal drought uh, and Cassano not playing too well either this season. So I'm without... Abo Hernandez because he's illegible and Ibrahimovic is suspended. So I'm going to have to do with those two up front. Uh, team talk. Now I'm going to say I expect performance from these two. And also him. And also him. And also him. And also him. Okay, that's going to be it. Let's get on with the game. This is very, very highly anticipated. And once again, I'm a bit nervous because I want to win this game. But it's going to be an ask. Look at all their players just closing down quickly. Pastore. Lukaku's found some space away from... Oh, Scalacci and he's hit the post. Lukaku did fantastic there. Uh, Socrates did brilliantly as well. We've come out all guns blazing. We've left. We've picked up where we left off, left off against Barcelona. Pastore Sanchez. Poor clearance from Almunia. We're keeping on the pressure. Pastore. Pastore. Saved by Almunia. Nesta with a good challenge. Pastore almost won it back. But Fabregas did. Good interception there from Socrates and Gattuso won the ball back. Brilliant ball from Nesta and Pato's taken out by Scalacci from behind. It was it definitely probably wasn't that man, but he is getting sent off. It was a professional foul. Referee says it was. He's off. Cassano with the free kick. Oh, it's off, off the wall. Silva, Nesta, Cassano. Oh well, I'll tell you what. This has been a brilliant start for us. Ascending off and we've been dominating. Sharvin playing just in behind uh, Shamak today. What damage can he cause? Hopefully Cohen Trout can keep uh, Walcott quiet and Gattuso's going to win the ball. Oh, Fabregas won it. Socrates won it back though. Gattuso, Pastore. Looks for Sanchez, Ibue. Look at his clumsiness. He maybe should have gone for Lukaku who was in behind the defence there. They're going to have to bring on a sub. No, wait, they haven't. I think they've just put... Yeah, they probably just put a uh, song there. Lukaku, unlucky with the ball in. Ball away for Arsenal. Pastore wins it back and Cassano, Pas uh, Pato, sorry. Cassano can't win it back. We've been dominating so far. They're a man down as well. Again, we won the ball back. We're doing brilliantly so far. Oh, it's just that. It's just uh, in this final third. Around the box, we just can't do much really, if you know what I mean. We're not creating those chances. We're just trying to spread the play and doing things like that. Cohen Trail can't win the ball. Rizitski and Walcott have swapped wings. And Walcott <laughs> hits one wide. Well, I expect I expected uh, if well, I don't know what's gonna happen now because of the the uh, man advantage, but we're gonna find out. Stanley's playing left back, quite an unfamiliar position, but uh Abiati does well here. I'm not comfortable with him in goal. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to move he's gonna have to move on at the end of the season. I'm definitely bringing in another keeper. And Pastore's found space and he scored. We've taken the lead. That's a fantastic ball in from Pato. And yet again, he's really up for this game along with Pastore. Well, he's been 
probably my player of the season. He's he's just been amazing. He's been a revelation this season, Pastore. Well, not not so much a revelation. You know, we all knew he's a brilliant player, but my God, I never expected him to do this well. Well, I don't think I'll have to buy Fabregas anymore. <laughs> That's not a hit. I'm actually going to go for Fabregas because we probably don't have the funds. And Walcott's in, but he's offside. And, uh, well, I'm looking at Lukaku and Kasana to do something. They've started the game really well. Lukaku's already hit the woodwork. And Kasana's getting in some dangerous areas. And Nesta's we're dealing with Shamak's height really well. And Abue, who likes to have a shot, actually. He likes shooting. Hits that one wide, as usual. He normally blasts it over. It's just a huge laugh. For the oh, from the Emirates crowd and oh, that's awful from us. We need to finish those chances. Cohen trial. Uh, just don't be a yellow card because I can see him getting sent off by Walcott. And it, yeah, it's a yellow card. He's gonna have to be more careful now. Well, almost everyone's back, defending from the from for the free kick. Maybe not the wisest move, but Story gets that one. Well, Sharman's gonna keep it in. And Cohen trial. Well. They've given us a goal kick. And Fabregas, I mean, not, not Fabregas, Arsenal and Fabregas, Fabregas and Co., whatever you want to call them, uh, are starting to put a bit of pressure on us now. Fast-paced uh, start has sort of to die down a bit, and oh, we've had a, he had a chance to pass that to Sanchez, who was in behind. And um, Pastore has found some space. Cassano scores! That's a brilliant finish! From Cassano on the edge of the area or just on the line or something. But he, he scores. That's 2-0. Again, look at Pastore. I think it's the free roaming. Look at that. He just runs into space, picks up the ball and just kills Arsenal off with the pass. Well, I'll tell you what. Me telling him to learn uh, to try killer balls often, that has really paid off. And he, he's, that free roaming just really works for him as well. Getting into space and just producing that killer ball. And just the players that can finish. Oh my god. He has to run off. But yeah, he goes off with a... He's taken a, he's taken a knock. But uh, that his condition will come back. If if players say they're going to hobble off injured or whatever, don't be um, frightened. I mean, their condition will go down. But uh, it does say they can. Um, their condition will get better if they carry on playing. But if by like the 70th, 65th minute they're not... Two recovered. Oh, we had a chance and we've got a penalty. I want, oh, Lukaku's going to take the penalty. Well, he ended his goal drought last time like this. But a lot of our players haven't been too successful from penalty spots. So um, we're just going to have to see. Complete silence for the run-up. And he scores. Top left-hand corner. Fantastic penalty from Lukaku once again. And it's 3-0. And a really impressive performance. Well, as an Arsenal fan, we did come to the San Siro in 2000 and, what was it, 8 or something like that. Until we came here and Fabregas hit a beautiful effort. An absolute corker. And uh, Adebayor went on to score another goal in that game. And we went on to win the tie 2-0, I think it was. It was a brilliant day for uh, Arsenal fans. Because uh, in the first leg, they gave us a right good game at the Emirates. It was... I remember Pato. I remember especially because Pato was running us ragged. He really was. His pace was giving us all kind of problems. And Thiago Silva did well there. Lukaku. He'll have a bit of confidence now. He'll play that into Sanchez, who's in space. But Song recovers. Or Fabregas. And Cassano with another goal. And Sanchez's pace and his flair just creates the vision. Has the vision as well just to put that into an area. And Cassano pounces, and he's really—he, he, I think he really does like this uh, striker role. I'm gonna end. Up, I'm gonna start playing him up front a bit more now because uh, Hernandez isn't getting any goals, and uh, Ibrahimovic is. So I might start playing him and Ibrahimovic up front. Might be a, might be a very, very uh, good partnership going there. But he's he's doing really well up front. I'm gonna have to buy another player. I'm gonna have to buy um. I think I'm gonna have to buy another winger, uh, left winger. I think and. Walcott was in for a chance, but it's a good save by Abiati. Ah, oh, Sharvin with the ball in. Away by Silva. Pato gets that back to Cassano and Lukaku. Can't get past Sanya, but Pato's got pace now. What can he do on this right side? He's past Fabregas easy. Ah, oh, Sanchez was looking to pounce at the back post there. 
And look at that, we had four players running in. Well, can we make this a 5-0 win and a 5-star display from us? <laughs> but they're coming in. Oh, what a chance. What a chance for our Sharvin. I, <laughs> I just... <laughs> Well, I thought that was a certain goal, I'm not going to lie. It's 4-0 and we're cruising. Well, Arsenal's giving us a bit of pressure now and Bentner smashes it in. Going into control. Taking possession a little bit now. Actually, no, it's, already, it's only 57 minutes. What am I doing? Just got to control a bit. Don't want to overcommit. 11 shots we've had. Oh, Cassano, I thought for a second that was going in. And then it ended that far wide, I'm sorry. He's on a hat trick. He must be brimming with confidence. Kaku with a, with a well, didn't get the header. The effort from the players today has just been brilliant, and the ball has been spread to Ibue. He's put one in. Rizitski. Or oh, well, I'm changing the formation now, lads. Make a sub. I'm going to change it to and Pastore is still a bit hurt, but I'm going to take him off. Nine point two. It's quality. So I'm going to pause it quickly. Go back to our, uh, an old system. And here we go. Um, what the hell, Gattuso? Hit Pastore here. Sanchez on the left. Cassano there. Gattuso there. And... Perlo. Yeah, deep line playmaker. You can defend as well. And if not, I'll bring on Thingy. Who else can I? Who can I take off? Uh, I'll put on Ambrosini for Gattuso. Cassano can go off for Rabinia. Oh no, I'll leave it. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna try and hold out for the four 0 win. I'm happy. A standing ovation from Pastore. Not surprised. Look at that woodwork. We've hit the woodwork once. That was uh, Lukaku in the opening minutes. And we're on the attack again here. Rubinho with his first touch. Socrates with a good running. Don't have a shot. Lukaku does. And again off the bar. Or the post. He's hit the woodwork again. That's certain. And Wilshire looking to carve something out for his team. Ambrosini commits the foul. <sighs> Kashalmi with the ball in. It's a goal. It's an away goal. And Bentner scores Abiati with foolish goalkeeping. For coming out that far. Why? I don't understand where he'd come out that far. It's awful goalkeeping. Awful goalkeeping. And Bentner headed it on. He said he'd never meant it, which I don't really understand. But there we go, 4-1. Can't keep a clean sheet because Abiati's stupidity. And he that was an Almunia moment. That was that was an Almunia moment. But Almunia looked pretty solid in goal. We've had a couple of shots at him and he saved quite standingly as well. Sanchez wins the ball. Can we create another attack here? That's a brilliant play. Rubinho's in one-on-one. -on -one, and he scores! Rubinho's got his second goal. And that's 5-1. Absolutely brilliant. Well, this Champions League campaign for us. The knockout rounds have just been... They've just been amazing, really. Well, the game against Bar... We've just... This has been such a fortress. The San Siro. And I can't believe how well it's gone in the Champions League for us. Absolutely sensational performance. Absolutely sensational. Two assists and a goal for Pastore. Out <laughs> outplayed uh, Fabregas on the night. Uh, Real Madrid comfortably beating Manchester United at uh, the Bernabeu. An own goal. and <laughs> Two own goals. Nemanja Vidic. Not every day you can say that. And it looks like uh, we're going to go on to play uh, the other team. I can't remember who they were. But uh, that's going to be the end of this episode, and I will see you lot next time for the Roma game.